The Philippine space program is amongst the most important factors at play today in the Philippines' geographical and social fields. It is responsible for monitoring the nations and various parts of Asia's consistent and formidable typhoons each and every year. Its importance to the nation when we talk about typhoons or hurricanes is obviously a key reason why the space program needs to exist. After all, the natural disasters that happen within the national borders are amongst the most dangerous threats the Philippines suffer every year. And with the world shifting to a more dangerous zone led by climate change, the role that the Philippine space program plays is going to be more crucial as climate change has been found to make these typhoons a lot more severe. The entire space program that the nation holds today, however, still needs a lot of work for it to be fully beneficial to the socio-economy of the country. It is maintained by the Philippine Space Agency, or FILSA for short, along with other smaller bodies to make it become become a fully functional department. The agency receives a sum of about 300 million pesos in the budget each year from the government, the majority of which is spent through space research and development and, presumably, the construction of satellites and their operations. The so far known satellites that the nation operates are the likes of Agila 1 and 2, two of the first satellites to be launched by the Philippines and dates way back to 1987 and 1997 respectively. The latest is known as the Maya 3 and 4, which were launched in October of 2021. The program, that dates its way back to the early 1960s, has found a credible footing until today, as the nation has consistently produced thousands of experts and space scientists since its inception. From 2010 till today, it is found that the Philippines has spent roughly 7.5 billion pesos, which helped produce 5,500 scholars, trained more than 1,000 space science experts, and even established 25 facilities around the nation. Further, a spaceport is even likely to emerge as representative from SpaceX have been in talks with the local government and FILSA has announced numerous proposals for launch sites. The role it plays is going to be prominent. Where do you think it is going in the future?